I'm Eliana Sellers, and we're here with the book nook for the second week, which is going to be The Dinner List by Rebecca Searle. Now, The Dinner List is one of the very few books that I will rate a full five out of five stars, and it is one of the best books I have ever read and will continue to read time and time again. Now, The Dinner List follows Sabrina on her 30th birthday with five people who she invites to dinner, one of which is her father, who abandoned her as a child, her ex-boyfriend, her professor that she looked up to, her best friend, and Audrey Hepburn. Now she has all of these people and she has to ask them questions about why they made the choices that they made and confront them about how it affected her life and her childhood. Now the book switches from the past, like six, ten years ago, to the present on her birthday and it gives you the background information that's built into the plot. So you don't have to go through the first 50, 100 pages with just background. It gives you that throughout the book, which I loved and I very much appreciated from the author. There's a major plot twist at the end concerning one of the characters and one, some of the background information of why she invited a certain person to her dinner party on her birthday. So the characters that surround the main character on her birthday um, that have passed away previously were brought back just for one night for that dinner for five hours I believe and she got to confront them when she may have not been able to in the past or obviously in the future. The book and the author she deals with Sabrina's past family trauma and the importance of those around her and how they supported her through her life and her decisions such as her professor and her best friend and her ex-boyfriend. So The Dinner List truly got me into Rebecca Searle's writing style and I got to read her other books such as In Five Years and One Italian Summer that truly have the same tone and the same character development as this one. I'm gonna rate this a five out of five stars. It is a book that I will come back to again and again if I'm ever in a reading slump. Next week will be A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. So have a great week.